Welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Eye of the Beholder and also I think our end possible video of Eye of the Beholder depending how long this particular level is and where Xanathar is. Uh, so yeah, we were warned, no trespassing, blah blah blah. Which way am I going? Wrong way. There we go. Alright, so we've killed a couple of the Titans in here in the last video, I think it was. Possibly the video before. The door has locked behind us. There's two directions to go. We're gonna go down south, I think. There's a button that has led us to a room. A room with a ring. And another, oh, a ring plus three. Excellent, it's going to you. Helmet of potentially nothing. Something we're not taking. I think we're not taking a ring of adornment. I don't know what that does. Rations not concerned about iron rations. Are these all the things we just dropped on the ground at some point in time? Could be. There's a lot of junk here. Hey, this Gwinsu, you're right, it is the stuff we dropped before. How did we lose Gwins? It's all of our magic items. It is literally all of our magical items. Or a bunch of just our random items? I don't really know. But some of our stuff was stripped from us, apparently. That's why our inventories are so clean. And also, weirdly, why I don't have any helmets on anybody, pretty much. Oh, this is painful. We lost like half of our gear. Oh, they also, those don't stack. That sucks. They could have. This is stupid, though. Who needs the helmet? You do. Things keep going missing as we put them on. I think so. Every time we take something off, something gets put back on, it looks like. That's exactly what it is. Oh, this is good. I'm gonna reload. I don't really want to deal with that. I don't know if we can not deal with that. Okay, so we went south last time. And press a button. There are three buttons in this room and I'm not pressing any of them. We're leaving this room alone. There's three pedestals. There must be some sort of clue. Key slot. Okay, so if we touch the key, something happens. We lose something. Let's just watch. What? It happened that quickly? No load. Yes. Okay, so if we grab the key... Oh dear. There's a golem. There are two golems. This might hurt. We can't move. 
Ow, he punched me in the face for 14. What a jerk. Pace is good for here, though. Okay. Potion of Vitality. Potion of Invisibility. Another Potion of Vitality. Another Potion of Invisibility. And nothing else at the end of the hall. There's some weird creepy pillars. That door is shut. There are magic items in there, but I don't think there are any of ours. It doesn't appear so, so let's just leave before that gets worse. Alright, game options. Save. We have made it to a new potential area. There's a door here, but no button. So, this way? This has a button. Oh, that's the door we came in on, okay. So we're supposed to go south. But why? How do I get into this room? Okay, there's got to be a button or something. What would a button look like in this area? I think that eye thing looks like a button, but I guess it's not. Hmm. Not that thing. Any buttons in here that I'm not seeing? Maybe. Oh! Oh! Well, that worked out. That leads us to the- there we go. Now we can open that door. Okay. Another button. More pedestals and another weird button on the wall. I'm gonna save here. I wanna try it, but I don't- want to lose things. A sphere for animation, potion for strength, stone for substance. Okay. Stone for substance. A sphere for animation. What does that mean? Sphere of power? Maybe? Hmm. Ocean for strength, sphere for animation. Um. Maybe straight up rock instead of an. I don't think we even have a stone on us, do we? Uh, I don't think I brought one down, because I didn't think they were all that useful. I guess they're not. Oh well, I guess we are out of luck on that particular thing. kind of wanted to figure out what it did though. How do we open the door? How do we open the door? Hard to tell what buttons are buttons in this. Hmm. Can't go that way. We must have to get a rock or something then. Which is really unfortunate because I didn't... Wait, where are we? Okay, we went back into this room. This is confusing. I'm going to have to look around for a button, I think. And figure this out, how to open this door. I'm not seeing any secrets or any buttons that I can determine at the moment. I will be back in a few moments when I figure out how to open this door.
Okay, after playing around for a little bit, these buttons teleport you different places. So the one on the left teleports you into that room with the trap where if you put items on or if you try and take those items, you lose yours. Fine, no big deal. This button teleports us to another area, which I don't know where it is, but I just figured that out. There's more buttons which also teleport us places, so I'm sure this is some sort of teleporting maze puzzle. But for now, we're going to go wandering around and see what we can find. Doesn't look like there's anything down here. Maybe north? Um, I hit a button and it did something, but I don't know what. Where are we? There's an eye in my way. Okay. Room of the Spheres. And what does Room of the Spheres mean? Or maybe. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can't do this room yet. Okay, so room of the spheres. We know that that's there. This does a th oh, wand. I don't know what that button there does, though. Okay, so there's other places we can go. Let's try that one. This looks sort of familiar, doesn't it? Where are we now? Everything gets so confusing when everything looks exactly the same. Okay, we're looking west. Okay, I think I know where we are. Alright, let's try up here. Three more buttons. Alright, so we're in a room full of buttons. I'm gonna go this way. This looks... interesting. Oh! So despite my traps, you petty hirelings of the Lords of Waterdeep managed to make it here after all. How unfortunate for you. How sad for me as well. I enjoyed immensely watching you fight my minions and stumble through my traps. Of course I'm responsible for creating the traps, just as I am responsible for creating the plan that will bring all of Waterdeep under my absolute control. You, of course, cannot be allowed to interfere with my brilliant plan. Surrender to me now, and perhaps I will grant you mercy. Attack! Beholders are all about their eye beams. That's not what I meant to cast. Uh, we need to move. I don't want to be in front of him, I just want to cast haste. Why, why does no one have haste? Alright, I guess we don't have haste. Uh, okay. Gonna have to be just fine. Ow. That was- oh, that was me. Ha. Uh, I accidentally a spell. I just wanted to get rid of the- Oh well. You know what, it's fine. Uh-huh. 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 We're hitting him at least. That's a plus. Oh shit, haste. I wish I wasn't aiming the right or wrong direction most of the time. He's very quick. We do have one more quest to do though, we have to find that throne room, as mentioned. Uh. Why don't you turn which way you're facing? Or walk which way you're facing? Nope. Nope. As the party picks through the remains of Xanathar's shattered body, a teleporter triggers about them as Xanathar's lair fades from view. Everyone prepares for battle and thinks, what now? A stately marbled room fades in around the party. Two stone columns flank a large throne. Sunlight streams in through the windows. Clean air blows through an open door. 
It says Pyrganon's public hall. At last, the party is free from the dungeons under Waterdeep. You've killed Xanathar and saved Waterdeep from his evil. Pyrganon Paladinson exclaims, We are wise to pick such talented and resourceful adventurers as our agents. For today, let there be, let thee be proclaimed the heroes of Waterdeep, and let all know of your brave deeds. Congratulations on your successful quest. Oh. And the game just ends. Well, I wasn't done yet. Hang on. We have to go do other things first. Unless that was actually, like, all we can do, but I think we saved right before that fight. Okay, so we're not going to go into that fighting area yet. There's other things I want to do first. That's not even the last hall, though, like... Maybe we just ignore Xanathar and move past him. Maybe. But anyways, let's go this way. I need to move my map, or my screen. It's kind of weirdly positioned now. So I reloaded the game. Um, alright. There's an eyeball there. Eyeball here. I don't need iron rations. I don't know why I'm picking this up. To start with. I just want to explore a bit more of this dungeon before we call it. Orb of powers. There's a lot of them. There's three orbs of power. I'm sure I need those for something. Um, not there. Not there. Uh, it's a key slot. Do we have a key? I don't think we have any keys. Except for that one, which I don't think does anything. And that one, which also doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, so we found this room with food and stuff. I'm not really sure why, but... Uh, we're going east now. Is east a good way to go? No, that's where Xanathar is. Now we're going south, south where we want to go. At least one of the ways we want to go. Now we're going east. Okay. Where did we end up after pushing that one? That definitely moved us somewhere. Where are we? Okay, here's an orby thing. Let's try these orbs of power. There we go. That was something cool and neat. I don't know what it did. We're facing north still. Okay, that's that room. Alright, we're going this way. Good. More orbs of power. Um... I'm guessing we need to... That food area again, okay. So if we go back all the way, where's that other- There's another room kind of like that one, wasn't there somewhere? There must be somewhere. Uh, but where? I have no idea. I mean, we have so many orbs of power. This is the golem, right? Yeah. Maybe that's to make golems, but we don't have any stones, so that doesn't really help us too much. Still don't know what that button does. Now where are we? Okay, I think I know where we are again. I guess maybe that's it. Maybe we just fight Xanathar now and call it a day. Maybe we can go past him and just see what else there is around. Let's try that. It might be interesting. Uh, which one goes to him, though? This one? Mm, no. no. This is where we found some of these orbs of power. That doesn't seem to go anywhere. There's these, and I don't know where these go. If anywhere at all. They might not do anything. Again, they might do something. Who knows? Okay, we're back here. Uh, we need to go east. So we're going to trigger Xanathar. And then try and get past him. Then we're going to go exploring. Blah, blah, blah. Attack. 
He does fireballs. Uh, okay. Look at those things here. Wait, this is all my stuff, isn't it? This is all stone orbs and stuff. He had a full set of his own. Well, that's it. There's nothing else here. Ow. I guess we just kill him now. I don't know what else there's to do in here. I didn't really see anything else to- Oh wait, it's closed. We can just keep him in that room, nice and safe. Alright. Um... Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else to do here. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly check the rest of this stuff. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we just kill him. So let's just wait for him to come back out here. I don't care. He has invisibility on him. Oh, there he is. Excellent sneak attack. I don't know if I actually need to kill him though. We already killed him once and there's nothing in the secrets, so... We didn't do anything of note. But maybe we kill him anyways. For eye of the beholder too. Or something. Nope. Oh, that's bad news. Okay. And that's it. That just quits the game as soon as you're done. So I guess that's the end of that playthrough. That was a good game. I liked Eye of the Beholder. Uh, we will do Eye of the Beholder 2. In fact, I'm going to install it right now. Start it today, I guess. I don't know if there's any extra quests or anything, but it just seems to end abruptly after you kill him. So, like, it literally just exits me out of the game. I can't do anything else. There's nothing else to do. So that's going to be it for now. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. And I'll see you all next time for Eye of the Beholder 2. Uh, to be fair, I've never actually played Eye of the Beholder 2. It never worked on my computer when I was younger. I could play 1 and 3. It was really weird, but 2 did not work. For whatever reason, it just would not ever work. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Welcome everybody, my name is Eltimar and we are going to be beginning a let's play of Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. Never actually played this game before, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. We just finished Eye of the Beholder 1, we're going to be transferring in our Eye of the Beholder 1 party. Uh, but first we're going to run the introduction. Westwood Associates. and Strategic Simulations present Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. You are settling in for an evening by the fire. Then a note was slipped to you. It was from your friend, Kelvin Blackstaff, Archmage of the City. The message was urgent. What could Kelvin want? Welcome. Please come in. Kelvin awaits you in his study. This is the spookiest music. Thank you for coming so quickly. I am troubled, my friend. As fire dances in his eyes, literally. Ancient evil stirs in the temple dark moon. I fear for the safety of our city.
I need your help. Three nights ago, I sent forth a scout. She has not yet returned. I fear for her safety. Take this coin. I will use it to contact you. You must act quickly. I will teleport you near Dark Moon. May luck be with you, my friend. Well, there we go. Alright, we're gonna transfer in our ERB1 party. You can only take four people with you, though, so we're gonna take... You know, our normal four. Our good four. The other two? Wait, that's not right. That's correct. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, one of these is not like the other. One, two, three, four. Okay. Items which are not useful or unbalanced are unbalanced again and will be deleted. That's fine. Can't really do much about that. So we have our plus five longsword. Oh, there's a dog immediately coming at us. Oh, crap. My keys aren't mapped properly. All right. Uh, we are going to pause briefly. Deal with that little problem. Oh, excellent. We're going to call that yay saves because we have multiple save slots now. Uh, we need to quickly do a mapper, so I'll be back in a couple seconds and we'll continue on our adventure once I map out everything properly.